Section 18 of Dramatized Bible Passages from the Old Testament. This is a LibriVox recording. All LibriVox recordings are in the public domain. For more information or to volunteer, please visit LibriVox.org. Stories of Elisha from Second Kings, Chapters 4 to 6. Narrated by Rachel. Woman, read by Seek Wisdom. Sons of the Prophets, read by Catherine. Son, read by Thomas Peter. Servants, read by Anne Finwin. Naaman, read by Chatza. Maid of Israel, read by Lydia. King of Syria, read by Esther ben Samanides. King of Israel, read by Beth Thomas. Gehazi, read by Adelda Pignoroli. Elisha, read by E. Snow. Child, read by Jesse Yu. Father, read by Marianne. Chapter 4 now there cried a certain woman of the wives of the sons of the prophets unto elisha saying thy servant my husband is dead and thou knowest that thy servant fear the lord and the creditor is come to take unto him my two sons to be bondmen and elisha said unto her what shall i do for thee tell me what hast thou in the house and she said thine handmaid hath not anything in the house save a pot of oil then he said go borrow thee vessels abroad from all thy neighbours even empty vessels borrow not a few and when thou art come in thou shalt shut the door upon thee and upon thy sons and shalt pour into all those vessels and thou shalt set aside that which is full so she went from him and shut the door upon her and upon her sons who brought the vessels to her and she poured out and it came to pass when the vessels were full that, th that she said unto her son bring me yet a vessel and he said unto her there is not a vessel more and the oil stayed then she came and told the man of god and he said go sell the oil and pay thy debt and live thou and thy children of the rest and it fell in a day that elisha passed to shunem where there was a great woman and she constrained him to eat bread and so it was that oft as he passed by he turned in and thither to eat bread and she said unto her husband behold now i perceive that this is an holy man of god which passeth by us continually let us make a little chamber i pray thee on the wall and let us set for him there a bed and a table and a stool and a candlestick and it shall be when he cometh to us that he shall turn in thither and it fell on a day that he came thither and he turned into the chamber and lay there and he said unto gehazi his servant call this shanamite and when he had called her she stood before him and he said unto him say now unto her behold thou hast been careful for us with all this care what is to be done for thee wouldst thou be spoken for to the king or to the captain of the host and she answered i dwell among mine own people and he said what then is to be done for her and gehazi answered verily she has no child and her husband is old and he said call her and when he had called her she stood in the door and he said about this season according to the time of life thou shalt embrace a son and she said nay my lord thou man of god do not lie unto thine handmaid and the woman conceived and bare a son at that season that elisha had said unto her according to the time of life and when the child was grown it fell in a day that he went out to his father to the reapers and he said unto his father my head my head and he said to a lad carry him to his mother and when he had taken him and brought him to his mother he sat on her knees till noon and then died and she went up and laid him on the bed of the man of god and shut the door upon him and went out and she called unto her husband and said send me i pray thee one of the young men and one of the asses that i may run to the man of god and come again and he said wherefore wilt thou go to him to-day it is neither new moon nor sabbath and she said it shall be well then she saddled an ass and said to her servant drive and go forward slack not thy riding for me except i bid thee so she went and came unto the man of god to mount carmel and it came to pass when the man of god saw her afar off that he said to gehazi his servant behold yonder is that shalomite run now i pray thee to meet her and say unto her is it well with thee is it well with thy husband is it well with the child and she answered it is well and when she came to the man of god to the hill she caught him by the feet but gehazi came near to thrust her away and the man of god said let her alone for her soul is vexed within her and the lord hath hid it from me and hath not told me then she said did i desire a son of my lord did i not say do not deceive me then he said to gehazi gird up thy loins and take my staff in thine hand and go thy way 
If thou meet any man, salute him not, and if any salute thee, answer him not again, and lay my staff upon the face of the child. And the mother of the child said, As the Lord liveth, and as thy soul liveth, I will not leave thee. And he arose and followed her. And Gehazi passed on before them, and laid the staff upon the face of the child, but there was neither voice nor hearing. Wherefore he went again to meet him, and told him, saying, The child is not awaked. And when Elisha was come into the house, behold, the child was dead, and laid upon his bed. He went in, therefore, and shut the door upon them twain, and prayed unto the Lord. And he went up, and lay upon the child, and put his mouth upon his mouth, and his eyes upon his eyes, and his hands upon his hands, and stretched himself upon the child, and the flesh of the child waxed warm. Then he returned, and walked in the house to and fro, and went up, and stretched himself upon him, and the child sneezed seven times, and the child opened his eyes, and he called Gehazi, and said, Call the Shadamite. So he called her, and when she was come in unto him, he said, Take up thy son. Then she went in, and fell at his feet, and bowed herself to the ground, and took up her son, and went out. And Elisha came again to Gilgal, and there was a death in the land, and the sons of the prophets were sitting before him, and he said unto his servant, Set on the great pot, and see the pottage for the sons of the prophets. And one went out into the field to gather herbs, and found a wild vine, and gathered thereof wild gourds his lap full, and came and shred them into the pot of pottage, for they knew them not. So they poured out for the men to eat. And it came to pass, as they were eating of the pottage, that they cried out and said, O oh, thou man of God, there is death in the pot. And they could not eat thereof. But he said, Then bring meal. And he cast it into the pot. And he said, Pour out for the people, that they may eat. And there came a man from Baal Shalisha, and brought the man of God bread of the first fruits, twenty loaves of barley, and full ears of corn in the husk thereof. And he said, Give unto the people, that they may eat. And his servitor said, What? Should I set this before an hundred men? He said again, Give the people, that they may eat. For thus saith the Lord, They shall eat, and shall leave thereof. So he set it before them, and they did eat, and left thereof, according to the word of the Lord. Chapter 5 Now Naaman, captain of the host of the king of Syria, was a great man with his master, and honourable, because by him the Lord had given deliverance unto Syria. He was also a mighty man in valour, but he was a leper. And the Syrians had gone out by companies, and had brought away captive out of the land of Israel, a little maid, and she waited on Naaman's wife. And she said unto her mistress, Would God my lord were with the prophet, that is in Samaria, for he would recover him of his leprosy. And one went in, and told his lord, saying, Thus and thus said the maid that is of the land of Israel. And the king of Syria said, Go to, go, and I will send a letter unto the king of Israel. And he departed, and took with him ten talents of silver, and six thousand pieces of gold, and ten changes of raiment. And he brought the letter to the king of Israel, saying, Now when this letter has come unto thee, behold, I have therewith sent Naaman my servant to thee, that thou mayst recover him of his leprosy. And it came to pass, when the king of Israel had read the letter, that he rent his clothes, and said, Am I God, to kill and to make alive, that this man doth send unto me to recover a man of his leprosy? Wherefore consider, I pray you, and see how he seeketh a quarrel against me. And it was so, when Elisha the man of God had heard that the king of Israel had rent his clothes, that he sent to the king, saying, Wherefore hast thou rent thy clothes? Let him come now to me, and he shall know that there is a prophet in Israel. So Naaman came with his horses and with his chariot, and stood at the door of the house of Elisha. And Elisha sent a messenger unto him, saying, Go and wash in the Jordan seven times, and thy flesh shall come again to thee, and thou shalt be clean. But Naaman was wroth, and went away, and said, Behold, I thought, he will surely come out to me, and stand, and call on the name of the Lord his God, and strike his hand over the place, and recover the leper. Are not Abana and Thaphpar, rivers of Damascus, better than all the waters of Israel? May I not wash in them, and be clean? And his servants came near, and spake unto him, and said, My father, if the prophet had bid thee do some great thing, wouldst thou not have done it? How much rather then when he saith to thee, Wash, and be clean? Then went he down, and dipped himself seven times in Jordan, according to the saying of the man of God. And his flesh came again like unto the flesh of a little child, and he was clean. And he returned to the man of God, he and all his company, and came, and stood before him, and said, Behold, now I know that there is no God in all the earth, 
but in israel now therefore i pray thee take a blessing of thy servant but he said as the lord liveth before whom i stand i will receive none and he urged him to take it but he refused and naaman said shall there not then i pray thee be given to thy servant two mules burden of earth for thy servant will henceforth offer neither burnt offering nor sacrifice unto other gods but unto the lord in this thing the lord pardon thy servant that when my master goeth into the house of rimmon to worship there and he leaneth on my hand and i bow myself in the house of rimmon when i bow down myself in the house of rimmon the lord pardon thy servant in this thing and he said unto him go in peace so he departed from him a little way but gehazi the servant of elisha the man of god said behold my master hath spared naaman the syrian in not receiving at his hands that which he brought but as the lord liveth i will run after him and take somewhat of him so gehazi followed after naaman and when naaman saw him running after him he lighted down from the chariot to meet him and said is all well and he said all is well my master hath sent me saying behold even now there be come to me from mount ephraim two young men of the sons of the prophets give them i pray thee a talent of silver and two changes of garments and naaman said be content take two talents and he urged him and bound two talents of silver in two bags with two changes of garments and laid them upon two of his servants and they bare them before him and when he came to the tower he took them from their hand and bestowed them in the house and he let the men go and they departed but he went in and stood before his master and elisha said unto him whence thou comest gehazi and he said thy servant went no whither and he said unto him went not mine heart with thee when the man turned again from his chariot to meet thee is it a time to receive money and to receive garments and olive yards and vineyards and sheep and oxen and men servants and maid servants the leprosy therefore of naaman shall cleave unto thee and unto thy seed for ever and he went out from his presence a leper as white as snow and the sons of the prophets said unto elisha behold now the place where we dwell with thee is too straight for us let us go we pray thee unto jordan and take thence every man a beam and let us make a place there where we may dwell and he answered go ye and one said be content i pray thee and go with thy servants and he answered i will go so he went with them and when they came to jordan they cut down wood but as one was felling a beam the axe head fell into the water and he cried and said alas master for it was borrowed and the man of god said where fell it and he shewed him the place and he cut down a stick and cast it in thither and the iron did swim therefore said he take it up to thee and he put out his hand and took it then the king of syria warred against israel and took counsel with his servants saying in such and such a place shall be my camp and the man of god sent unto the king of israel saying beware that thou pass not such place for thither the syrians are come down and the king of israel sent to the place which the man of god told him and warned him of and saved himself there not once nor twice therefore the heart of the king of syria was sore troubled for this thing and he called his servants and said unto them will you not show me which of us is for the king of israel and one of his servants said none my lord o king but elisha the prophet that is in israel telleth the king of israel the words that thou speakest in thy bedchamber and he said go and spy where he is that i may send and fetch him and it was told him saying behold he is in dothan therefore sent he thither horses and chariots and a great host and they came by night and compassed the city about and when the servant of the man of god was risen early and gone forth behold a host compassed the city both with horses and chariots and his servant said unto him alas my master how shall we do and he answered fear not for they that be with us are more than that be with them and elisha prayed and said lord i pray thee open his eyes that he may see and the lord opened the eyes of the young man and he saw and behold the mountain was full of horses and chariots of fire round about elisha and when they came down to him elisha prayed unto the lord and said smite this people i pray thee with blindness and he smote them with blindness according to the word of elisha and elisha said unto them this is not the way neither is this the city follow me and i will bring you to the man whom you seek but he led them to samaria and it came to pass when they were come into samaria that elisha said lord open the eyes of these men that they may see and the lord opened their eyes and they saw and behold they were in the midst of samaria and the king of israel said unto elisha when he saw them my father 
shall i smite them shall i smite them and he answered thou shalt not smite them wouldst thou smite those whom thou hast taken captive by thy sword and thy bow set bread and water before them that they may eat and drink and go to their master and he prepared great provision for them and when they had eaten and drunk he sent them away and they went to their master so the bands of syria came no more into the land of israel End of section 18